we would not be at this point without a credible threat of a military strike, but I welcome the possibility of the development, and uh, John Kerry will be talking to his Russian counterparts. Uh, I think we should explore and exhaust uh, all avenues of diplomatic resolution of this, uh, but I think it's important for us to keep the pressure on and to quote, uh, or to paraphrase at least, uh, uh, a, a uh, former U.S. President, uh, Ronald Reagan, uh, it's not enough just to trust. I think we're going to have to verify. Welcome to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. Secretary of State John Kerry's off-the-cuff remark has suddenly been embraced by the White House as a solution to a possible intervention in Syria. I've got Best of the Web Today columnist James Taranto here to talk about this really stunning uh, change of events here. Uh, James, so the idea is to trust a Russian proposal to have Syria give up its chemical weapons and, and, and submit to UN inspections. That's roughly the idea that we're talking about. Uh, why would we even dignify such an offer? Well, uh, what would we do without rhetorical questions? <laughs> uh, calling it an idea, I think, gives it too much credit. I mean, what we have here is uh, this policy on Syria was made by the president making an offhand comment last year about this red line. And all of a sudden, uh, you know, he's uh, going through all these contortions to turn that into a policy. And then last week denying that he set a red line. So now we have pretty much the same thing happens, right? Kerry makes this offhand comment about, uh, oh, gee, well, maybe if Syria would give up their chemical weapons, he's just kind of sitting around there mus wishfully musing. And uh, what happened is Putin, uh, the head of Russia, uh, seizes upon this, says, oh, this is what they want, huh? Okay. He sees an opportunity. He says, all right, I'll, I'll oversee this. I'll make sure the Syrians give up their chemical weapons. Obama sees it as an opportunity to get the political cover that Congress uh, was not going to give him. And so we have these two policies uh, set by, you know, these guys just shooting their mouths off. The, uh, Obama and Kerry should maybe just shut up for a chance. Well, and, and not to mention the fact that there's no talk here of Assad stepping down. It's simply him, quote unquote, giving up weapons as if he, he would do that in the first place. Well, I there was no talk of Assad stepping down before. I mean, John Kerry, was the, the other comment he made that was wonderful was he said, when we were still talking about military action, we're going to conduct this military strike that will be unbelievably small. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, Teddy Roosevelt in reverse. Well, Speak I, loudly and carry a tiny stick. Now, the, the president is going to go on national television tonight at 9 p.m. We got a preview of the Democratic spin on this speech from Nancy Pelosi. Uh, I'm going to put up a screen of her tweet, and I quote, Thanks to Obama's strength, we have a Russian proposal. We hope that it is credible and real, comma, and therefore progress. James? Okay. Uh, the sec first of all, the second sentence of that tweet obviously undercuts the first. She's talking about Obama's strength. We have a proposal. Well, okay, then she says, let's hope that <laughs> the Russians, that Vladimir Putin is credible and real. I mean, give me a break. Second, it's not thanks to Obama's strength that we have a proposal. It's thanks to Obama's weakness that we were in this position in the first place. And then it's thanks to John Kerry kind of shooting his mouth off that Putin knew what to say in order to, uh, in order to get what he wants out of this. What is going to happen out of this? Vladimir Putin looks like a statesman. Barack Obama looks like a buffoon. He looks a little bit less like a buffoon for domestic consumption in as much as this makes the Syria issue go away for a while and turns the focus elsewhere. But on the world stage, this is a terrible defeat for the United States, well, look, a huge victory for Vladimir Putin. I mean, give him the Nobel Peace Prize for crying out loud. About 30 seconds left. Let's not neglect Republicans on Capitol Hill, because those who were against the strike are now in the position of having to support what looks to be a toothless UN resolution. What does this mean also for those Republicans? I don't see why they're in the position of having to support it. I mean, okay, the ones, you know, maybe Rand Paul is in a position of having to support it. The ones who actually were unalterably opposed to any Syria intervention. But a lot of people who are generally hawkish were critical of this, uh, of this intervention with the idea being it wouldn't be sufficient. It's very easy if you run through an alternate scenario to imagine Congress voting yes, Obama doing the unbelievably small strike, it not having any effect, and then Putin swooping in and doing exactly the same thing. I don't think that you can say that the outcome would necessarily have been different if Congress had voted yes. Okay, well, a terrible scenario all around. Best of the Web Today columnist James Taranto, thank you for that.